I am proud to announce tonight that you will be receiving our country's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So there you have uh, radio shock jock and one of the most prolific racists in recent American history, uh, Rush Limbaugh, uh, shocked that he's getting the the Medal of Freedom, despite the fact that it had been news for hours at that point. So I don't know exactly why he was pretending to be shocked, like he knew he was gonna get it. It's so weird. But anyway, uh, it happened. The Medal of Freedom, for those of you who might not know, um, is. Um, designed to recognize those people who have made an especially meritorious contribution to the security or national interests of the United States, world peace, cultural or other significant public or private endeavors. We're gonna delve into his endeavors, but what's your initial reaction? Well, that's the one part, that I was gonna look up the actual meaning too, and I saw you had it. Um, the part, the cultural or significant public or private endeavors. So his cultural endeavor was to secure and, and produce <laughs> and, uh, and progress the racists in this country and their points of view. That's mm -hmm. the cultural, that's the historical cultural thing about America that he's kept and he's preserved yeah. for the past 30 years or whatever he's been in. 100%. Uh, let's go through a few examples of that because people might be like, well, you're just saying that, but what has he actually said? Well, we're gonna let you know, feel free to jump in. Mm -hmm. um, but this jumps over a lot of different sorts of horrible rhetoric. The first, uh, he said that a student who was denied a spot at a contraception hearing, quote, she must be paid to have sex, so she's a slut and a prostitute. Specifically, he said, what does it say about the college co-ed Susan Fluke who goes before a congressional committee and essentially says that she must be paid to have sex? What does that make her? It makes her a slut, right? It makes her a prostitute. She wants to be paid to have sex. She's having so much sex, she can't afford the contraception. She wants you and me and the taxpayers to pay her to have sex. Yeah, she wanted people to have access to contraception. Yeah. Uh, which supposedly, if you were a movement that wanted to have less abortions, that seems like it'd be a good call. But no, she's a slut. Uh, he said that Kamala Harris and Barack Obama are not African American, and Rashida Tlaib's not a person of color. To be fair, He's the person who should decide. <laughs> uh, he said that Michelle Obama needs to get over slavery because she's like kind of like obsessed with it. Uh, lest you believe that like Alex Jones has a monopoly on crazy right wing conspiracy theorizing, Rush Limbaugh claimed that New Zealand mosque shootings were false flag operations despite no evidence. He's claimed multiple attacks were false flags, by mm -hmm. the way, that's just one. He suggested that Matt Lauer should host a reality TV show locking victims in his office. It would be half dating game and half survivor and would be filmed entirely in his office. Which would be a fun game to force the people that he sexually assaulted to go through. Uh, he said that maybe toilet water is a step up for some migrants based mm -hmm. on what the left is telling us. And he called the, uh, the migrant women who had been abused in holding facilities a gaggle of hysterical women. Uh, in 2011, he mocked a speech by the president of China saying on air, Hu Jintao was just saying Ching Cha, Ching Cheng Cho Chow, Cha Chow, Ching Cho, Chi Ba Ba Ka, Kuo Kwa Kwa Ki. Nobody was translating, but that's the closest I can get, he said. Mm -hmm. He also said that Barack Obama said he wasn't allowed to play on his private high school basketball team in Hawaii because he played black style basketball. What is black style basketball? You empty the clip at your opponents? What is it? I'm just funning with you here, but really, what is black style basketball? You watch Limbaugh empty the clip headline tomorrow. He also said that uh, the NBA should be the TBA, the Thug Basketball Association, and they're not teams, they're gangs. And he said, quote, look, let me put it to you this way. The NFL all too often looks like a game between the Bloods and the Crips without any weapons. There I said it. He talked about some caller getting the bone out of his nose. Mm -hmm. And look, like we have to stop at some point. But you can go through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of incidents as bad or worse. These are not like diversions from his career. This is why he had any office, uh, any audience at all for 31 Absolutely. years. Absolutely, meritorious contributions to culture and of significant public or private endeavors. That's Rush Limbaugh's meritorious contributions to our society. And that's what he's being celebrated for. And I, it's impossible for me to care less about the fact that he got the Medal of Freedom. I'm, I'm not even upset about it, mm -hmm. who cares? It's a part of the trolling process. We know that he just announced that he's uh, that he's got uh, uh, stage, four, stage lung four lung cancer, right? And then so this came up now. I'm not sure I'm they're planning it beforehand, so I can't speculate on that, but it seems that it came for because of that. So 
once you get uh, diagnosed with that kinds of that kind of condition, then suddenly you get the Medal of Honor because then if anyone brings up how much of a horrible person he's been in his entire life, they are this not a bad person. Exactly, it's a trolling. Uh, no, uh, yeah, no, he's a bad person. He's an enthusiastic bad person. That is all he has ever been. That's the only reason anyone ever liked him. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.